Andre, if you'd like to give us a little opening statement, and uh, we'll take questions after. All right. Well, first of all, thank you so much. Uh, I just appreciate Coach O for bringing me to, to this uh, a wonderful organization. Uh, you know, I think one thing that me and him have, have in common is that we want to win. Uh, and, it, and it takes uh, more than just a lot. It takes dedication and perseverance and you know, will to you know, bring in the right players as well as work with the right people to, to achieve a high accolades, especially in the SEC. So it's just, it was an honor just to be hired and uh, to coach Stevenson Saline, which, I, which I've loved and been a part of uh, playing and coaching you know, pretty much my whole career. Um, and, I'm, and I'm blessed to be here. Uh, hey, Coach, this is Shay Dixon of 24-7 Sports. Congrats on uh, the hire. Um, being back in college, and, and obviously you had a successful career first-rounder. Um, oh, how, right. uh, how do you describe kind of your teaching philosophy as someone who's, who's done it all, been where these guys want to be, high draft picks, 10 years in the league, uh, now that you've grown into it as a coach? Well, I think this teaching is teaching, no matter what level of uh, football you're on, right? whether it's high school, uh, collegiate NFL, what you have to do is you have to set a foundation and then it's just all through, obviously it's years through the experience that I played with, but I've also had work with great coaches. Um, you know, started my father, my father coached for, you know, played for, for 12 years and coached for 30 years, so uh, he was my foundation, but then in addition to coaches that I had in college, Bill Dutton, uh, Dwayne Board, uh, Pepper Johnson, and uh, Greg Blosh, those coaches, you know, one thing I've learned from them is just you know, the, the fundamentals and foundations of playing a, a, a efficient defense alignment is footwork, hand placement, um, things of that nature, pass rush, you know, eye-hand coordination, uh, feet progression. Those, those are the things, those are the crucial things that make you an elite defense alignment. And just to continue to be consistent with it and continue to communicate with it and continue to harp on it day in and day out, no matter how effective you are or ineffective you are. Uh, I always taught my, my defense line that it, when in doubt, especially when it comes to fatigue or when in doubt when things are going uh, well for you as, in, as an individual, as a group, as a team, you have to focus on fundamentals because fun, fun, fundamentals help you win games. Hey, Andre, this is Glenn West with LSU Country. Uh, congratulations on the job. Um, I appreciate I was, it. I was just curious, you know, you've been in the NFL now for 12 years as a player and then the last, you know, four or five as a coach. Yeah, 13, 13, what man. You <laughs> no, don't take away, don't take away my, my credit year. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I mean, just what made you want to make the switch back down to college ball? I mean, was it just the relationship with Coach O? I mean, just what made you want to come back down to college and, and you know, further your resume? Like that? Well, you know, I, I never looked at it as coming, coming down to college. I, I think in, in general, coaching is coaching. Um, for, for me, and I told Coach o, you know, Coach O this, um, obviously – I had interviewed for some positions in the NFL level, but it just didn't work out, you know, following, following the Jets. Um, so on the collegiate level, I had looked into it, and LSU was, was there, and I just looked at it as an opportunity. Um, and it's, it's, it's an elite program. And, uh, you know, I, I was very fortunate to coach players. You know, Devon Gacho, shout out to Gacho. He's very happy for me, LS, LSU alumni. Um, but... For me, it was just coaching itself is an opportunity, and for me, I just wanted to continue my journey to develop and learn football. And I'm and I'm working with some great coaches, and I'm happy to just to reconnect with Durante Jones, who I worked with uh, with the Miami Dolphins. And I think uh, that's in general, you know, whether you're a former player or a player in general or a coach, you want growth, or you want to you want to aim for something you know, more higher. So um, it, it's it's. In a sense, it's more laterally, but it's just more of improvement as far as developing my game, and uh, and it's an honor. Hey, Coach uh, Glenn Gilwell, USA Today, Louisiana. Uh, how did you tell Coach O no when he was recruiting you to go to USC and you and you went to Cal? How did, <laughs> that's, well, how did that go down? That's a, that's a dad question. You have to ask R Ruben Carter. You have to ask my dad that. My dad said you ain't going to USC, so I was like, all right, man, you called it. <laughs> You have to call him up on that one. <laughs> have you followed Coach O's career over the years after after that? You know, on and off, uh, but it's just, it's just amazing how uh, you know this you know coaching and, and I think football is just is like a revolving circle. And um, I was just you know to the fact that he recruited me uh, back in my high school days, and now we're here. It's it's amazing how how time passes and uh, you know, what what a honor and opportunity.
Mickey Joseph, one of your co-coaches, same thing. Oh, yes. Ed didn't, didn't go. Oh, yes, no doubt. And uh, but uh, like I said, overall, it's just every every day you, you wake up, you, you you see the stadium, and you realize, well, I'm here, and I'm just ready to coach good football. Hey, Andre Brody Miller with the Athletic. You know, um, obviously, you know, Ed Ogeron said that he's going to be more involved with the defense this year, and obviously, he's a D line guy. I guess just how does that dynamic kind of work in your opinion? You know, obviously, it's it's your group, but also his to some extent. Well, I think in general, as I'm, I've always been a team player, and uh, it, me and me and Coach Oll have taught this, and, and we both have a passion for defensive line. If anything, I'm I'm learning from him. I mean, here's here's a man that's uh, been in the game for such a long period of time, and and hopefully, I'm blessed enough to uh, coach for as long as he has. So uh, it's it's just it's about understanding you know our roles and understanding the, the foundations. But one thing that we do have in common is that we want to win, and we have, we're very hard on our players. We're going to critique, critique our players, and one thing we love, we love watching film. And so it's 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 a it's a it's a great connection to have such a guy that especially that's so heavily involved in the defense because he takes pride in it. And and what what coach that that's 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 played it and now coach it want to want does not want to work with a guy like that. That's something that you enjoy because he brings energy and. Uh, you want to continue to work hard for them and, and help you know, be successful. I'll do one more question uh, for Andre Brooks. Hey, Andre, uh, Brooks Gabina from The Advocate. Uh, welcome, Baton Rouge. I appreciate it. The entire starting defensive line came back, and you know, the Ed Ogeron's talked about the talent that's there. What do you see in that? <clears throat> and um, your, your kind of philosophies through learning and playing as an NFL player, what do you – what do you think this group can do? Well, it's, all, it's great that you you see the returning, you know, especially not, I'm, I'm still getting my terminology, just returning seniors coming back for for another year. Uh, I think one, it shows that they're dedicated to the program, but also two, they want to finish on a winning note. Obviously, you know, last season's last season, but they were they, they didn't have the uh, success they had prior to the year before. Uh, so they want to come back and, and and make a statement as a as a group. And, uh, but also, I also am aware that you know, coming back is also you know, it's 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 a, a big year for them as individuals. But I've always I, the the men that I spoke to, I just say at the end of the day, you just trust yourself, you trust your technique, and trust the man next to you, and we'll play good football. And and that's what's important. And and you make a statement as far as creating a deep salon tradition. That's just something that. Uh, I and my, my not only myself but Coach Joe believe in uh, having a having an efficient D line tradition where guys continue to come in and play hard for us and and be elite. That that's what it boils down to. Thank you, Andre. Appreciate the time. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.